John Moss here, Colt RV. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about generators and um, our mock scenario here. We uh, we're in a, a new pursuit motorhome, and uh, we're going to pretend like we just got the camp, got the slides open, um, jacks down, everything set up, ready to go. Uh, if you look at our microwave, we have no power. Uh, for the sake of argument, let's pretend we're camping out in the woods. We have no plug-in, so we're going to start by um, firing up our generator. We're going to press and hold our prime button, which is actually down towards stop. And then we're going to crank it over. Red light's on. That means we have the generators turned on and running. Uh, now, usually you'll wait about 30 seconds to a minute. And the microwave is our friend for an audible tone uh, to hear if we have power. Uh, just to give you guys a heads up, we kind of faked a scenario where there's a problem on the generator and we're actually not going to get that uh, that audible beep we expect uh, we're gonna wait five more seconds just for the the sake of pretending like we're waiting for the transfer switch to kick over um, if you're not familiar with how the generator works um, the generator turns on it produces power that power goes in most cases not on every single one but in most cases it'll go to what's called an automatic transfer switch this is where your power from your generator and the power from your shore cord are properly distributed. Um, so if you happen to have it plugged into shore power and you had the generator running, the uh, the overload of power wouldn't get sent into your motorhome. That transfer switch kind of says, okay, we're going to pull power from the generator or shore power and then send it into the RV. Like I said, we, uh, we're we in a red flag alarm. Uh, generator's been running for a little while and we still don't have any power coming from the generator. So we're going to show you kind of the first things to look at. Um, Number one, I guess you could go through and look at your TVs and see if you got a red light on for any of the TVs and just kind of get an idea. You know, is it one thing that's not working or do we have multiple things that aren't working? This particular case, our refrigerator is 12 volt and 110, so this one's not going to help us. But uh, if you had a residential refrigerator, you know, you could pop it open and see if your light your light is on. Uh, again, this one runs off battery power as well, so it uh, it's not helping us for that. Uh, so we're going to take a walk out. Um, actually, we'll take a quick look in here really quick. I'm trying not to cheat because I know what the problem is already. <laughs> and this particular one, if you want to sneak through the bathroom with the camera, it'll be a little easier to see. Um, we're going to be looking at these breakers here. These are your residential uh, 110 power, so short quarter generator power. Our main's good. All of our breakers are set and working. So we're going to go back to the source of the power, which is going to be the generator. And this is actually very, very common, even though that I, I purposely set this up this way. Uh, this happens a lot where you're shutting down your, uh, your generator and you, maybe you didn't turn the air conditioner off and it sends a brief overload to the generator and trips the breaker on the generator. So in one of your basement compartments, your generator is going to be parked. Um, hopefully you know where that is. If not, just open your, open your compartments until you find your generator. This particular one, you grab at the top pull out towards, towards you, and then lift up, and that exposes the, uh, I'm going to close this so you can hear me, that exposes the, uh, the engine, the start-stop switch, and the breaker. Over here there's two breakers, they say on. As you can see we have uh, we have power on our microwave if you flip those breakers and it takes you know you get back inside and you don't still see power just give it that 30 seconds that transfer switch might take some time to flip over um, but we have power in this case if you noticed on that generator down there we had uh, we had two breakers on that 
So that gives you two individual legs of, uh, of power. Uh, I'm not going to get into specifics about that too much, but um, long story short, let's say your microwave was working but your air conditioners aren't. Go back down there and double check the breakers to make sure both are on. Um, they tend to split the power off so it's not all loaded up onto one circuit and half your things could be working and the other half may not be. Go back to that generator and check that out. Um, it's very common for one to be broke um, and not engaged and the other one to be engaged. So that's uh, things to keep in mind. Um, that's really all, all I have for today. If you guys have any questions, let us know and we can try and answer them the best we can. Thanks for joining us.